spam link injections are a type of hack where the hacker adds spam links into your website that will redirect visitors to their spammy website. The spam links can replace good links in your posts or be cleverly hidden in your web pages. Hackers can even create entire web pages on your domain that will redirect to their own websites. In this video, I'll help you fix this problem completely via three chapters. In chapter one, you learn how to confirm if your site has a spam link injection. In chapter two, you learn how to remove this hack. And in chapter 3, you learn how to prevent this hack from bothering you again. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Julian and I work at Blockwatt, which helps over a million sites take 100% reliable backups. If you're in a hurry, just use the chapters below to skip to the section that you want. Chapter 1. How to confirm spam link injection. First, let me show you what a spam link injection actually looks like. For example, this website is about sustainable fuels. It has a spam link injection hack and yet nothing odd shows up on the home page. However, the same site shows up in search results for grey market pharmaceuticals, which are in no way related to this website. On clicking that search result, the page redirects to an online pharmacy, which even has an SSL certificate installed. The trouble with this hack is that the website owner is usually the last one to find out about it. Therefore, if you suspect that you've gotten a spam link injection hack, you could have found out in one of these ways. Number one, spam links or pages on your website spotted by a site visitor. Number two, URL injection on Google Search Console. Number three, web host suspended your account. Let me be very clear here. A hack website is a nightmare for a website owner. Not only is your website affected, but your visitors are at a risk of having their data and identity compromised. The website takes an SEO hit and therefore a financial hit, especially if you have a web store or earn money with your website. It is super important to act fast when your website is hacked because the damage only increases exponentially with time. If you suspect a hack, you can confirm whether your website is hacked or not by scanning your website for free using Malcare. This is the quickest and most reliable way to determine if your website has the spam link injection hack. Then, you can proceed to use the paid instant cleaner to remove malware in a single click. We recommend Malcare here because other security plugins are notorious for false positives or consuming a lot of server resources, whereas Malcare has neither issue. Downloading and running a scan on Malcare takes just a couple of clicks and is finished within a few minutes. If you can't access your dashboard to download Malcare, just reach out to their 24-7 customer support and they'll help you through it. Chapter number two, how to remove spam link injection. There are two main ways you can remove the spam link injection from your WordPress website. Number one, use a security plugin to clean the infection. Number two, remove the infected files manually. We strongly recommend that you use a security plugin to remove spam links from WordPress. We will outline the steps for manual cleaning as well. However, please note that it should only be attempted if you are very familiar with WordPress files and its database and can confidently navigate the code. I'll quickly give you a summary of both ways of removing this malware. Option one, use a security plugin. When your website is hacked, time is of the essence. You can use Malcare's one-click cleanup to instantly remove the spam link injection hack without affecting the core files of your website. This is the easiest and most efficient way to rid your website of hack. This auto-clean feature makes Malcare unique among all security plugins because it is based on a proprietary intelligent algorithm. If you can't access your dashboard to install Malcare, just check the video linked above about web host suspensions because we address it there. Option number two, manual hack removal. It is of course possible to remove malware manually. However, there are several downsides to doing so. You should know these before trying a manual malware removal. Number one, cleverly concealed malware. Since malware is usually hidden carefully in files and folders and are not immediately detectable. Number two, deeply hidden backdoors. Since hackers hide them in your site so they can regain access if the current hack is removed. These backdoors are very well hidden and you will see your website getting repeatedly hacked because of them. Number three, you have to remove the root cause of the malware and answer time-consuming questions like, why did your website get hacked in the first place? Was it a vulnerability or perhaps a compromised password? Unless this cause is addressed, reinfections will reoccur. You can sometimes remove legitimate code. The chances of this are relatively slim, but assuming your website has a few plugins, it is sometimes difficult to distinguish between actual code and malware. Deleting good code will break your site. Now, after knowing these caveats, if you are still interested in a manual cleanup, check the link in description. I've added an article with a step step-by-step -step instructions to guide you through this. Chapter 3. How to prevent spam link injection Your website got hacked because it has a vulnerability issue or your passwords were compromised. I'll add an article in the description below with the 16 most common WordPress vulnerabilities and issues so you can check that out to safeguard your site. After removing the spam link injection, you need to take 4 steps to ensure that it doesn't happen to you again. Number 1. Update everything. This includes WordPress, themes and plugins. Number 2. Get rid of null software. 
free software can have titanic costs in the long term. It is not worth the initial benefit of not having to pay for the plugin. Number three, check for backdoors. It takes security expertise to find and remove backdoors effectively as they're usually hidden quite well. If you're using Malcare, you don't need to worry about this because Malcare automatically detects them and notifies you. Number four, change all passwords. After clearing your website, change all the access passwords and the database password. This puts up an additional barrier to being rehacked. If you're confused about how to do any of these steps, just check the description of the video because I'll add links to articles with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this. Conclusion Finally, if you're dealing with a suspended site, click on the video linked above to quickly solve that issue. If you're stuck somewhere, please comment below and I'll definitely help you out. This brings us to the end of this video. That's all for today. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I will see you again next week.